In this video, we shall learn about basic storage and transportation for all food business operators. According to Schedule 4 of the Food Safety and Standards Licensing and Registration Regulation 2011, food business operators are liable to ensure that all stages of production, processing and distribution of food under their control satisfy the relevant hygiene requirements. This video will focus on the basic storage and transportation. Storage of food is a factor that has an impact on all stages of processing from farm to fork. The infrastructure provisions for storage call for warehouse to be of sound construction. Example, no holes in floor or walls, door gaps, roof leaks, etc. Roof surfaces, skylights and other openings shall be routinely maintained and be free of leaks. Floors, walls, doors and windows shall be kept in good repair and free of unprotected openings to prevent pest entry. Dock levelers must be well maintained and inspected monthly. Levelers should be cleaned a minimum of quarterly per year. Light fixtures shall be shielded where breakage is likely, example on low ceilings, rail and trailer inspection lights. Floors, walls, overheads and pallets shall be free of spillage, heavy dust, webbing or other debris. Pallets must be in sound condition. Adequate space must be maintained between pallets and walls and also in between the pallets to suffice first in first out or first expiry first out movement of the product stored. It is most important to ensure that the product integrity is maintained throughout the period or duration of storage. Also, the storage infrastructure shall be as per the type of product, which means it shall be broadly of three types, ambient or dry storage, chilled or refrigerated storage, and frozen product storage. Additionally, vegetarian and non-vegetarian products have to be segregated and must be stored separately to avoid any type of cross-contamination. So relevant humidity and temperatures must be maintained throughout the storage cycle suitable for the products. Stacking norms shall be strictly adhered to in order to ensure that the product is not damaged throughout the storage period. Adequate identification and tagging needs to be done for each and every material that is stored. Segregation of material also involves space allocation for receive material or on hold material or rejected material or even sometimes material under quarantine. Proper documentation shall be done of the written procedure for traceability and recall. Along with this, details of responsibilities and emergency contacts shall also be documented. There shall be an assigned representative to handle food recall during emergencies. A mock recall exercise is recommended 
as a good storage practice. Food safety display boards as relevant must be on display. Transport plays a crucial role in the food chain. The manner in which the food products are transported decides the fate of the product reaching to its intended customers or consumers. For example, inadequate control of temperatures during transportation and distribution can contribute to microbial growth, formation of mycotoxins, spoilage and deterioration of certain products. Vehicles to be used for food transport must be in a clean condition, should be easy to clean and maintained in good repair and condition to protect foodstuffs from contamination. The vehicles could also be categorized and designed to carry products in three main categories that is ambient, chilled and frozen. The vehicles must be fitted with calibrated temperature monitoring equipments. The temperature logs must be maintained to ensure the product is delivered in the manner recommended. The appropriate segregation of vegetarian and non-vegetarian products during transport needs to be ensured as well. Food products shall only be transported in vehicles which have never been used to transfer anything other than food articles. The transport vehicle should be cleaned, maintained and be free from any odor and hazardous material. The vehicle before dispatch should be properly sealed to protect the final product such that it reaches the customer in an appropriate and safe condition. Mandatory Form E as per food safety and standards, licensing and registration of food businesses regulation 2011 shall be filled and be available during transport. Employees handling storage as well as transport should be adequately trained in good storage and transport practices following the standard operating procedures and maintaining relevant records. Thus the main highlights of the video are Infrastructure facilities and provisions of the storage space should be hygienically designed to ensure appropriate storage of food products. Storage of food products should be at appropriate temperatures and adequate segregation of material to suit the purpose. Maintaining appropriate records for traceability is essential. Vehicles used for transporting food stuff shall be kept clean and maintained in good repair and condition suitable to carry products at adequate temperatures. Mandatory Form E as per Food Safety and Standards Licensing and Registration of Food Businesses Regulation 2011 shall be filled and available during transport. Employees handling storage as well as transport should be adequately trained in good storage and transport practices.